Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today in this video, I'm going to create two really cute holiday projects, winter type projects for you. I'm going to be using that small round vase from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the small hurricane lamp, I think this is called, lamp vase. You can get that from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'll be using one Dollar Tree tapered candlestick holder. I'm going to start with just kind of getting the things that I'm going to be using for this project. I'm going to use my clear gel tacky glue. I'm going to use my paintbrush with a little bit of water in that purple cup. So I'm going to start by adding some glue to the inside of the vase. And then I'm going to spread the glue around the vase, making it nice and smooth with a dampened paintbrush. Next, I'm going to be adding some crystal clear glitter to the inside of the vase. This glitter I picked up from Amazon. It's a 16 ounce size. It's the large size. And yeah, it's super crystal clear. It's sparkling as well. And I'm going to add that to the inside of the vase. I'm going to make sure that I cover the entire vase. I'm going to sprinkle some in. I'm going to tap the vase a couple of times just to move that glitter around. And I'm going to keep doing that until the glitter is completely covering the inside of the vase. Okay, so now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to test the glow factor with this little tap light that I picked up from Amazon. And uh, you can see it's very bright. And I just wanted to see how well the vase glows with the clear glitter inside. And it looks really, really nice. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. I'm going to allow it to dry. And now I'm going to move on to the second project. I'm going to take this hurricane vase. I'm going to apply the glue to the outside of the vase. I'm going to spread it around the vase the same way I did with the smaller vase and then I'm going to add the glitter on top. I'm going to do that until the vase is completely covered with the glitter. So I'm just going to pack some glitter on. I'm going to use my fingers to press that in. And guys, if you find that you want to seal this glitter to the vase and you don't want to use craft spray because it's too strong. So what I would do with this is use my hairspray to seal the glue to the outside of the vase. And so that way I'm not experiencing any allergies or any strong, strong odor from the craft spray. So I'm going to spray that after it's completely dry. And then I'm going to move on to the next step. 
So now that we're at the next step, guys, it's only been a couple of hours and that is dry. I'm going to take some alcohol on a paper towel. I'm going to clean the bottom of the vase and the top end of the candlestick holder. I'm going to use my Aileen's Mixed Media Adhesive to seal the two pieces together. After that, I'm going to allow that to dry overnight. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with a cardboard panel. This is from a shipping box and I'm going to be using a round mirror from the Dollar Tree. I think this is a five inch round mirror. I got that again from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this to shape a circle onto the cardboard. Once that's done guys, I'm going to cut it out. So just checking for the size. It's the perfect size for the next step. This black top is the cap to the hairspray that I just showed you. Since that spray is almost finished, I'm going to be using that cap to help create a holiday hat. So I'm going to start with this beautiful red and green and gold plaid ribbon. This I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this to cover both the cap and the cardboard.
I'll be using an old toothbrush to clean up any glue strings or any dust or anything that's there. And as you can see how shiny it is, guys, I, I really, I didn't like it, but I couldn't take the project apart just to fix that. I'm going to fold the excess underneath the cap because that's going to help the cap adhere to the cardboard once I glue it down. But what I'm going to do is once I do this, I'm going to fix that top and I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it very quickly. Okay guys, see that came out really nice. So now I'm going to use a little hot glue and attach the cap to the brim. I'm going to center it up and I want to off center it. I don't want it to look lined up. I don't want all the lines to line up together. I want it to make it look maybe sort of like, you know, folksy in a way. And so that looks really good. So now I'm going to take this black pipe cleaner that I got from the Dollar Tree <laughs> and I'm just going to wrap that around. I'm going to um, just make a interesting base at the brim. So now it's time to decorate. So I'm just going to lay out a couple of um, greeneries that is, that's associated with Christmas. And I'm going to use that as decoration for this hat. So we've got pine cones, we've got berries, I've got green leaves. And I'm just going to hot glue all of this to the hat. So I'm going to use my clear gel tacky glue. I'm going to put it on my small paintbrush and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the areas where I want to add just a little of that crystal uh, glitter. The crystal glitter is clear and it's just going to add like a almost like a sugaring effect. 
it's going to look really pretty so i'm going to do that to everything that i've placed on the hat i'm going to do it to the berries i'm going to do it to the leaf and also to the pine cone Pat that glue into place. And guys, this is really nice. Really, really nice. So now back to our vase. The vase is dry, completely dry. So what I've decided to do with is a request from you all from last year when I uh, created a vase. I am going to add a face, a um, little happy snow face. <laughs> So I'm not really good at this guys, so I'm going to try my best. I hope it comes out good, but I am going to start with my markers that I picked up from Amazon. I bought these years ago from Amazon. They still work. They're still full of color. This is the 24 pack of assorted colors. And uh, I have to say guys, the, these last a very, very long time. And also when you use them on glass, once it's dry, it won't come off unless you use cleanser or some kind of solvent. So I'm going to start with the black magic marker and I'm going to start to create eyes. And I want it to look sort of as if I'm adding coal or stone, um, like rocks. So I'm, it's not going to be perfect. My little eye circles are not going to be perfect. They're going to be sort of jaggedy with a little bit. It's just going to look folksy, guys. That's all I can tell you. And so, yeah. So now I'm on to the second eye. And I'm just going to just draw that in, leaving a little bit of a white area or inside just to create highlight in the eye and as you can see it looks a little crooked but I'm going to do my best and I'm going to fix it up I'm going to make that mouth and make a little smile mouth or smile lines right there and um yeah so I'm just going to keep working on it guys and I'll get back to you when I'm done I'm using a little bit of nail polish removal on the end of that q-tip I'm just going to it's going to help me just remove any of the little areas that I don't like I'm just really looking at it because I want it not to look perfect but I want it not to be messy either once the markers dry it's really hard to remove guys I'm going to show you I'm going to use this cloth and rub it really hard on this vase it's not going to come off because it's dry and set into place the markers are permanent markers so yeah so that face is on there and this is his hat and it looks so cute guys i absolutely love the way this looks this is so so cute so cute and very very easy to do the hat was easy to do if you just follow the steps use whatever you have at home use whatever you can get from the dollar tree and you could create something even better 
This light I'm using is a mini tap light. I picked that up from Amazon and that little white square there is the area where the light comes from. But what I did was I took the extra one that I had and I just put a little bit of orange paint across the top, just a thin layer to help give it a warm glow. And as you can see, that glow is very warm. It looks so nice. It's gonna just be a nice lit dish. You can put a candle in it if you want to. But guys, here, here it is. Oh, it looks so pretty. It looks like a cute little boy. Really, really nice. A little snow, a little snow boy. Not a snowman, but a snow boy. <laughs> really nice and friendly. Okay, guys. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Now we're going to move on to the next project. This one is going to be really quick. This is our vase, our chunky, chunky vase with the glitter on the outside. It Glitter has been sealed with the hairspray. The hairspray is an extra whole hairspray, so it's really holding it into place. You won't get a lot of fallout. So what I'm going to do is use a lot of the greenery that I used from some of it from the first project. All this stuff, guys, I picked this up from uh, the Dollar Tree, including the ribbon that you see in front of you. I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to start creating um, my bow. So if you guys follow me long enough, you know I don't know how to create traditional bows. So I sort of craft bows into existence. So I'll start cutting out enough to make a couple of loops. And then I will cut enough to make the tails that hang below the loops. So just wa watch me do it. It's really easy. If you don't know how to make a bow, if you don't like the bows you make, maybe you could try it this way. This works for me. This is the only way I make bows. So guys, I just wanted to remind you that the poinsettia leaves I did pick up from the Dollar Tree as well as the berries, the red and the silver berries were picked up from the Dollar Tree as well as the ribbon. And the pine cone, I picked that up from Amazon. I bought a small box of pine cone to do a pine cone project. And so that's where the pine cone is from. But anyway, guys, look how beautiful this project came out. Absolutely beautiful. 
I love them both. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I do appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you subscribing. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And you all stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.